Warm greetings from the High Ten. It is Everyday Shenanigans on this Tuesday, February 25th, 2020. Sitting outside, thought I'd get a bit of fresh air because it is wonderful out today in the High Ten. And thanks for joining me. I want to talk about the missing baby uh, out of Sullivan County, Tennessee. Um, 15 month old Evelyn May Boswell. I've brought you all several videos pertaining to her disappearance and the said information pertaining to her case. Uh, said information that her mother has brought forth to the news agents, Facebook, ya yeah, ya yeah, ya. Yeah. But one thing is missing from this case besides the missing baby. You all haven't figured it out yet? Think about it. What's missing from this case? Why have we not heard from Ethan Perry's family, his parents? Don't you find it strange that this child had an Amber Alert issue a week ago today? The mother has spoken publicly to the news a few days ago, giving said information to Facebook about being pregnant again. The father, Ethan Perry, in Louisiana, stationed in the military, trying to make his way back allegedly to aid in this hunt for this missing child, his baby. But yet we have heard nothing from his parents. And don't you find that strange that a child has two parents, whether they are visible to the eye or involved with the child, but the parents also have parents. And we can't hear from the mother as of yet because she's incarcerated. Sorry about that. Someone's alarm going off. Megan's mother is incarcerated for a theft of a BMW, her and the boyfriend. I don't know if they'll get a bond or get out or how that will work, but I'll bring you that set information as it is relayed. But why have we not heard from Ethan Perry's family, his parents? Why have they not given any type of information to the public pertaining to their feelings about this missing baby that is allegedly their grandchild? Don't you find that strange? We're one week into an Amber Alert of a missing child and the baby's Father, fathers, parents, family members have yet to come forward to say anything pertaining to this missing child. I find it baffling. And frank, frankly, low rent. Be truthful. And I don't like sugarcoating anything because as I tell most of you who do know me and follow me and, and have watched my commentary in this short spell of less than a year, I don't sugarcoat much. I try to be dignified when I can, but I also call a spade a spade. And there is no way in hell you are related to a if, let's say if, if you are related to a missing person, especially a child, you would not come forward with even a comment pertaining to the missing child. And no one can tell me that you don't find that odd. You don't find that peculiar. That Ethan's Ethan Perry, excuse me, parents or family members, a brother, a sister, a cousin, his grandmama, granddaddy, somebody, would not even say, this is a tragic event. Oh, I last saw her such and such. Think about that. They haven't given a public comment pertaining to the missing baby that is allegedly related to them, nor have they even given a comment when they last saw the baby, if they have a relationship with the baby. I think most people would be curious to that, and that's something most of you, most of you haven't even commented below in the comment section. None of you have never once said, well, Angela, I haven't heard anything from uh, Ethan's parents or his family members or his friends. Yeah, what are his friends saying? His associates. People that know him. Any of them know anything about the relationship between he and Megan Boswell? Don't you find it odd? His side of the family has not come forward to the news to give any type of commentary pertaining to a 15-month-old missing baby that is related to them. Everything's been about 
Megan Boswell and her shenanigans and buffoonery and her lies she has been spending to the authorities. The fact that her mother and the mother's boyfriend got arrested for stealing a car. Now she's coming forward telling the social, uh, social media, Facebook, that she is pregnant to the news outlets, which is cheesy. Why are you responding to the news by Facebook? See, this is what I'm saying. Nothing but buffoonery, asinine behavior, and to top it off, no baby still, one weekend, no viable leads pertaining to the child and her whereabouts, and nor have we heard anything from Ethan Perry's family. So what are you all thinking out there? Are you afraid to talk to the public? Are you afraid to give your commentary? Are you afraid of what people are going to think of you all? Or what you have to say pertaining to Megan Boswell and this baby? Because I think you should say something. Maybe you can shed some light on the story. Because there are some missing pieces to the story. And the main piece is the 15-month-old baby. Her name is Evelyn May Boswell. She needs a voice, and she needs someone to speak up on her behalf. Because right now, the truth is not being revealed to who actually last saw her, where she was, where did she actually live, who was her caretaker. Because the fact that Megan Boswell is the sole custodian means nothing at this point. Because the child is nowhere to be found. That ship has sailed about her being the mama. As street terms go, she's the baby mama. She's not the mother. The Perrys, wherever you are, say something. Speak up. Give the public some type of commentary about the child, your relationship with the child, your relationship with Megan Boswell. I think the public would like to know. And even if you don't think it's going to be commentary we want to hear, say something anyway. Because that's allegedly your grandbaby. And you should want to tell something that could be helpful and useful to aiding the authorities in finding this child. Every day goes by, I get more baffled by this case. More shenanigans and buffoonery. But I'm really troubled that the Perrys haven't spoken up to the public, to the news, to say something about this baby. And to me, that speaks volumes volumes rather don't you think do they have something to hide is it is it they just don't want to be involved or is it because they never were involved they didn't have a relationship with Megan or Evelyn and they've been two sheets in the wind from day one like and share drop your comments below and until the next update this is everyday shenanigans thanks for joining me bye bye